Hello art students, it's me, Miss Friels, for another week of fun art lessons. Last week was a very, very short week at our school. So this week we're sort of going to combine week 15 with week 16 and continue the lesson that we started last week. We had so much fun fun last week learning about different animal adaptations and we had an opportunity to play a game where we took the adaptations of different animals and we put them together to make new animals. In fact, last week we played a game called Mixed Up Animals and we used a sheet similar to this one where we rolled a dice and each time we rolled the dice, it told us about a different animal part, a different animal adaptation that we put together and created our own fictional animals. That means we created our own pretend animals. Some of the animals we created last week were really silly, like a part bull, part bear, part chicken animal with different adaptations. Here's another silly one that we created together. It was sort of like a fox, a pig, a bull elephant creature. And we had a lot of fun uh, creating our own animals. In fact, we had so much fun that we're going to continue that kind of lesson this week. So this week we are going to learn about hybrid animals. And in fact, there are some real hybrid animals in this world that I'm going to tell you about. That means two different animal species can come together and make a baby and make a unique animal, hybrid animal. That's kind of like a half and half animal. So welcome to week 15 slash 16 and this week we're going to talk about hybrid animals and their habitats and this week i have a couple percussion instruments to show you i have my bells beautiful sound and my maraca first of all we should discuss what are your favorite animals and what is an animal hybrid and could you create your own hybrid animal? When animals from related species have babies together, they may produce a hybrid offspring. That means a hybrid baby. Here are some examples of real hybrid animals. So a zebra plus a donkey is going to make a zonkey. This is a real hybrid animal that exists in our world. Also, if you can combine a lion plus a tiger, you can create a liger. A liger is a real example of a hybrid animal. But what if we just wanted to create our own fictional hybrid animals? I would say, what are your two favorite animals? Could you combine them and create a hybrid animal? Where would your animal live? Can you create a background and a habitat for your animal? Here are some examples of student art. This one here is a koala, a koala bear plus a giraffe. And this one over here is a skunk plus a shark. Today, we will be combining two of the animals that we learned how to draw during the last few weeks. A gray fox and a great white shark. What should we call this animal? What kind of habitat does it live in? Here is a gray fox. We're going to create a gray fox plus a great white shark, and we're going to call it something new. How about a shox? You get it, fox plus shark, a shox? Let's try it. Just like usual, today you will have your choice of using white plain paper or any kind of paper that you have available or a whiteboard. Just remember if you use paper, please be drawing with a pencil and draw lightly just in case you need to erase. 
I like to use my whiteboard, and then I like to copy my drawing onto a piece of paper later. You can use crayons, colored pencils, or watercolor paints to color in your hybrid animals and their habitats. Let's just remember some of the weird and crazy piece of hybrid animal art we looked at last week. Remember the rabbit, zebra body, and the fish tail? Remember the elephant with the butterfly wings and the rabbit body? So today, you can also think of your favorite animals, your favorite two animals, and put them together to create your own unique animal, or you can follow along with me and create a shox. Okay, art friends, first I'm going to be practicing on my whiteboard. So I got my whiteboard eraser, my whiteboard marker. I have a piece of paper ready to copy my drawing from my whiteboard to my paper later. But I first wanted to revisit the gray fox that we created and also the great white shark. And I'm going to be thinking about how I'm going to combine this animal into a hybrid animal. And I'm gonna do it two different ways, okay? First, I'm going to combine, I think, the head of the gray fox with the body of a great white shark. And then I will be creating the head of a great white shark with sort of a fox like body. So I will have two different hybrid animals. So you can decide which one you like best. You can decide which one you would like to copy onto a piece of paper. Okay. So for this part, because we have already done these drawings together, I will be going a little bit fast in the next few minutes and showing you how you can combine these two animals to create a hybrid animal. I will also be adding some details to my drawing to describe their habitats. Of course, you know what habitats mean because you've been learning about that even in your other classes. It's basically where does this animal live? What kinds of plants or things are around this animal that help it survive and thrive in the wild? All right, let's go.
thank you again, art students, for creating art with me. I am super excited to hear your ideas and to see your own unique hybrid animals. Remember, take time to make art. It is super, super important and very healthy for us. I can't wait also to see you this week in our computer art time. And for now, I will see you all later. Bye.